Is that as loud as it goes? Yeah, oh. sorry. Oh. So that time he used a scrambler. He went back and forth, and it was still coming in from my home phone number because I have it registered as my crib in my, in my phone. Um, he went back and forth between switching phone numbers, booting it from my home phone number, changing his voice. Johnny Sins was a male performer I worked with a lot. Um, Hold it, Johnny Sins was is a male performer, but he wouldn't have done this. This is a guy pranking, saying he's him. He's just using his name. But when he continued to call back and leave these messages, each time was a little bit different. But when I picked up the phone and we actually spoke and he went through the thing, I could tell which voice was actually his. It was very close to the first message. So that was kind of, uh, I had a couple on this one, a couple on that one, and then the cops took him off the other phone. So it was just really like that. It was like, I'm in your house, I'm coming downstairs to kill you, I'm gonna rape you, I'm gonna kill you, I know exactly who you are. Well, when I got on the phone with him, he did know who I was. He knew my driver's license number, my social, my home address of the last four locations I've lived and everything about me. Now, when he called back this time and said, I don't give a fuck where your husband is, well, that was after the day before where I talked to him for 20 minutes. When I talked to him that day, I tried to convince him that I was still married and I could see that it worked because then the following day in the messages, he would address me still having a husband. So I was doing whatever I could to be, to maybe build up a little bit of like, okay, if he thinks I live at that address where he thought I lived, I was still married when I lived there, so I'm still gonna ride that. Not, a, not the most pleasant way to start the year. Uh, wow.